Hello everybody, welcome to Anablox. We have some exciting things to talk about in this video, and the topic we will be focusing on today is the six anime fan theories that turned out to be true. But of course, before we dive into this video, I've got a question for you. Have you subscribed to this channel yet? If you aren't, you're missing out on quite a lot here. So make sure to subscribe so that you will always get the latest information about anime from us. Anyways, like I said in the beginning, let's dive right into this video. Number 6. Satoko's to blame. Higarashi when they cry ghoul. These guys have a real nasty habit of getting stuck in murderous time loops. Though in their defense, this time it was totally Satoko's fault. Though she spent the first few seasons as victim fodder along the others, the Ghoul series had a few early signs that pointed to her villainy. So even among the blood, guts, and other dismembered body parts, most fans found enough evidence for a rather quick conviction. At first it seemed a bit far-fetched given Satoko's mostly sweet disposition, but that just made the inevitable reveal all the more terrifying. It's safe to say she threw non-believers for a loop in more ways than one. Number 5. Titanic Revelation – Attack on Titan As if the show didn't have a behemoth-sized following already, the introduction of Titan Shifters set the fanbase into an utter frenzy. With so many minds at work, deducing the likely candidates became as obvious as an actual approaching Titan. To start, Rainier and Berthold had a suspiciously overwrought reaction to the Beast Titan's entrance. That when compounded with their lack of internal monologue and murky motivations only solidified what most had already deduced, that these two were the Armored and Colossus Titans respectively. At a certain point, it became less a theory and more of a hope. After all, there was really no satisfying way that they could have been anyone else. Number 4. A Rivalry's End – Mobile Suit Gundam Franchise These two adversaries went out with an actual blaze of glory, or at least that's what it seemed. The 1988 film Char's Counterattack culminated the iconic rivalry between Char and Amuro with a real bang. And then, well, nothing. The credits rolled, leaving the fates of both its legendary leads up for interpretation. Most viewers rightfully assumed that they were both goners, since it would have been a disservice to the climactic battle to have them both survive. However, their widely accepted deaths were only confirmed in 2010's Mobile Suit Gundam Unicorn. There, they were returned as spirits to impart some last words of wisdom before figuratively and literally saying farewell to the decade-spanning fan theory. Number 3. Beneath the Mask Naruto Shippuden The only real question revolving Toby's identity is why he bothered wearing a mask at all. For one, the fact he immediately revealed his Sharingan to Kakashi massively thinned the suspect pool. Secondly, his name was nearly a complete anagram of the copy ninja's fallen comrade, Obito, who seemingly died off-screen several years prior. Seriously, he could have at least tried a little harder on the name. Even when Toby tried to pass himself off as Madeira, his continued use of the mask made it all too obvious that the whole thing was a poorly disguised ruse. As it stands, this was less of a fan theory and more of an eye-rolling inevitability. Number 2. Todoroki Family Tree – My Hero Academia In the age of social media, Anime fans have developed their own superpowered quirk of, of accurately predicting massive plot twists. But even still, this one lit a fuse incredibly early. Before Toya Todoroki was even name dropped, fans deduced that the fire wielding Dabi and Shoto's inexplicably missing brother were one in the same. The subtle bits of foreshadowing over the years only fanned the flames into an inferno of fan expectation. By the time Dobby finally revealed his true lineage, the entire fandom burned with the satisfaction of a theory proved right. That's noteworthy on its own, but the fact that the prediction emerged as early as it did puts it in a league all on its own. Number 1. Not a Remake 
Rebuild of Evangelion series. Admittedly, Evangelion isn't the easiest show to analyze, but one thing has always been abundantly clear. Neon Genesis Evangelion doesn't need a remake. So the film series played on those exact expectations. What began as a near shot-for-shot -shot remake soon included a few new scenes, and then a new character, and then an entirely new storyline altogether. But as some fans realized early on, the clues were always there. Even in its seemingly faithful to a fault story structure, there was the tiniest easter eggs that implied this was not just an alternate retelling. The result is a double whammy. Fans had their suspicions confirmed, and they got an exciting new chapter in the series at the same time. Alright guys, so unfortunately this video has to come to an end. That is it on the 6 anime fan theories that turned out to be true. Since you guys have reached here, I just want to remind you to subscribe so you will not miss any of our upcoming anime videos. Also, like this video as it helps us beat the YouTube algorithm and lets this topic be delivered to more people. And lastly, share this video so we can inform others. With that, thank you so much for watching, goodbye and I'll see you in the next video.